The production of breast milk is one of the greatest miracles of the female body and is synchronized with pregnancy, childbirth, and the growth of the baby. Breast milk is produced in the mammary glands where primary elements called alveoli are located, which are responsible for producing and storing breast milk so that it later arrives through the mammary ducts to the nipple orifices. When the baby suckles, the mother's body releases the hormones prolactin and oxytocin. Prolactin controls milk production, while oxytocin controls the release of milk through the mammary ducts. This process is called the letdown reflex, and here the mother may feel a tingling or tight sensation in the breast. The more milk the baby consumes, the more milk the mother's body will produce. This is a natural balance. Since when the baby sucks, the mother's brain sends hormones to the alveoli to produce a greater amount of milk and oxytocin to get her released. Breastfeeding benefits the baby in many ways, including provides an optimal balance of nutrients, provides antibodies to strengthen the baby's immune system, reduces the risk of asthma, allergies, colic, obesity, diarrhea, as well as certain ear and lung infections, produces easy digestible nutrients, and it reduces the risk of suffering from infant death syndrome, also known as crib death. Breastfeeding also benefits the mother in many ways because provides a convenient, nutritious, and economical way to feed your baby, helps to lose excess body weight, which can be seen between four and six months after birth, helps the contraction of the uterus after childbirth, and strengthens the bond between mother and child. There are four basic positions for breastfeeding. Cradle position, sideline or side lying, cross cradle, and football position. The baby is born with the instinct to turn to the nipple with its mouth open and suck. But to activate this instinct, it is important that the mother gently press the nipple down below the baby's nose towards the lips. When the baby opens his mouth, the nipple should be placed against the palate and the baby brought closer to the breast. It may take a while for your baby to get used to placing his mouth around the nipple or latching on, but when he has done so, his little mouth will cover the nipple and the areola, which is the dark area around the nipple. And his lips will also cover the nipple. They will flex outward and their nose will touch the chest. While feeding, soft sucking sounds will be heard along with swallowing. And what is recommended is that the mother allows the baby to suck as long as he wants. Many newborns feed between 8 and 12 times a day. Experts recommend exclusively offering breast milk for up to 6 months and then introducing complementary foods to the supply of breast milk for up to 2 years or strictly adhering to what is suggested by the pediatrician.